Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for watching. Today, I want to talk about the importance of spreading love, not hate. In the last week, we've seen the disturbing news about George Floyd. His death has emotionally affected everyone around the world and united people from all nationalities and backgrounds. I want to stress the importance of equality and spreading love. With everything that is happening in the world, the last thing that needs to be done is spreading more hate and violence. Of course, I also want to highlight the Black Lives Matter movement. In the US, we have witnessed the unfair treatment of the African American community. It's important that we all stand together and treat racism for the disease it is. Any form of racism cannot be tolerated, but we must fight against the inequality and injustices in a loving and peaceful manner. As a great human rights activist, Martin Luther King quotes, hate cannot drive out hate, only love can do that. Stay tuned, coming up after the break. How does it feel being part of a family with such a historic legacy? It feels, uh, it feels weird. At first, you know, I was very insecure. What does luxury mean to you? Luxury. In India, I discovered that true luxury isn't something you buy off a shelf. True luxury is a feeling that you are the Maharani of your world. And it can be all designed around you. All the beauty is yours. All the music is yours. India showed me that luxury doesn't follow designers and brands. True luxury follows its own heart. Incredible India. Next up on the show, we have Florian Picasso, who is a Vietnamese French DJ and record producer. He is also the great grandson of the well-known artist Pablo Picasso. He gained recognition for collaborations with Martin Garrix and Steve Aoki. Florian, thank you so much for being on the show today. How are you coping with this quarantine? Uh, well, I've been uh, I've been doing great. Uh, it's been uh, it's been uh, over for uh, two weeks where I live. Uh, in uh, Geneva, Switzerland, mm -hmm. uh, as well as in France, for like a uh, few days back, they uh, they they started to uh, open businesses. So uh, so uh, pretty well. It was uh, it was a tough uh, tough moment for everybody, but I think we are seeing the the end of it. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully, I, well, I'm glad you're doing well. You know, of course, the first thing that stands out when I see your name is the last name Picasso. And I know that your grandfather was Pablo Picasso, which is incredible. How does it feel being part of a family with such a historic legacy? It feels, uh, it feels weird. First, it's- uh, <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> it's my great grandfather. Okay. And well, um, yeah, it feels, uh, it feels good. Um, uh, but um, it feels even more amazing knowing I have a family because I don't know if you uh, know, but um, I'm, uh, I'm adopted from Vietnam. Mm -hmm. His granddaughter, Marina Picasso. And, um, and yeah, so I'm very thankful to, to first of all have a family and that uh, I was provided with, uh, with love and I was able to be so privileged, you know. Mm -hmm. and, but on top of that, being uh, being adopted by uh, the Picasso family, it's uh, it's it's. I mean, you'd never choose your family, but what were the odds to first of all be adopted, yeah. but then be adopted by the Picasso family? Yeah, definitely, it feels good, and it feels like um, that um, I'm uh, endorsed with uh, with not a mission, but um, with with. Um, with uh, 
it's like I want to create my own uh, my own legacy, mm -hmm. but by always like uh, paying uh, respect to uh, to what he has done in terms of uh, of arts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you definitely are creating your own legacy. You're an amazing DJ. You've worked with some pretty big names, Steve Aoki, uh, Martin Garrix. What's been your greatest collaboration so far? So uh, I think on um, on a more 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 like friendship point of view and uh, uh, learning process, it was definitely with uh, Martin Garrix because he's the most uh, genuine person I've met in the industry because it's uh, in entertainment business it's hard to find uh, people that are actually uh, genuine and nice yeah, yeah. Uh, that's a fact and um, and we've been friends for five years and uh, he's like a real friend so I mean and in life friendship is uh, goes above everything and also in terms of music I've never met anybody that is uh, as um, as productive and uh, and always uh, keeping uh, keeping a, a smile in the studio and um, and you, I don't know I like I really like this guy you know mm -hmm. that's great that's and I know in 2016 16, you were named you were one days. of the top hundred DJs from DJ Mags um, and how did you create your unique musical style who are some of your musical inspirations. Well, what's funny is that I listen to a lot of uh, diverse uh, uh, style of music, mm -hmm. and uh, when I when I uh, produce co-produce with uh, uh, with my team and uh, and we're in the studio, I don't really um, I, I'm not trying to to make a copy of a copy, mm -hmm. but um, but I'm just trying to to, to develop my own sound, which is. Uh, which is it's hard to define because because I'm you know like like Pablo Picasso one day it was he had many periods in terms of uh, of style of painting once was the pink period and uh, after it was the uh, cubism and uh, blue period so it, it comes by phases but I always try to do like uh, to make records that uh, people wouldn't make. And uh, at first it was tough because at first I really, you know, I was still very young in the process and I wanted to to have this instant uh, popularity, you know. So I was just making records that I that that would do well for uh, maybe like a few a few months and then people will uh, not like uh, hear about uh, them anymore. It's like very, it's like uh, it was it was uh, it was a learning process to learn where I wanted to go and I think timeless is the is the it's it's the touch I want to add to my music maybe I failed maybe I I succeeded mm -hmm. but I think I think people give me credit for trying like different stuff mm -hmm. yeah and you know our show is all about inspiration and inspiring the new generation um what's one of the biggest obstacles you faced in your career so far uh you know, it's uh, it's very. Uh, it's, I don't think I can I can say it's fun funny, but uh, at first, you know, I, I was very insecure, insecure, and um, I thought, you know, I could hide behind uh, my name and uh, be like, uh, okay, you know, everybody is gonna jump on my project. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's the great content of Picasso, etc. But to be honest, people in the in the music business, they were. Uh, they were very, very like tough on me because they thought it was like uh, something like like a, a, just a, just a pastime. Mm -hmm. I was a rich kid and I was living off my mother's money, and they were like, "Oh, we're not going to pay attention to this guy because it's not worth our time, and uh, he already has a name, and uh, and it's, it's just something he's going to get bored after one year." So, so I had to prove to to these people. Uh, that I really wanted to, to, I really wanted to stay in the in that um, in that music um, industry, and uh, but I didn't I didn't do it for them. But it was my main struggle was to to make a statement that I was here to stay and not just like oh I'm gonna be a DJ and record producer, and in like five months I'm gonna be like a, like a cricket player, you know. Mm -hmm. 
and, and you know, coming, growing up with the Picasso family and, you know, having that name, what motivates and inspires you to keep driving forward? Because you obviously come from a very well-known family. So what, what is that driving force within you? Well, it's, uh, first of all, you know, I'm, I come from a very uh, privileged uh, uh, social background. Mm -hmm. A lot of, uh, a lot of uh, people of my age, they're, they're so unhappy, you know, because they have all the money that they, they can have. They have all the cars, they have all the luxury and everything. But deep down, they're not they're not very happy. So, so I wanted to pursue this to, to find my own happiness and really fight my uh, insecurities. And it's it's actually the, 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 a very good time to talk about it because of all the, the racism going, going around and I've I've uh, experienced that as well. Like people would like tell me, uh, yeah, um, you're not from this family, you're not blood related. So it was very, uh, very tough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it was, and I love music and it's, it's, it's something I've always wanted to do. So it, it's something I like, something I love, but it was also, it's a lesson of life as well. Mm -hmm. And that's why I, I, I kept going and uh, I kept grinding. Mm -hmm. When did you realize that music was your passion? Uh, at uh, around uh, 12, 12, 13 years old. Okay. But again, for the wrong reasons, because uh, in the, you know, in the, in the music videos, the DJ was always uh, surrounded by uh, hot girls and he was the center of attention. Yeah. So yeah. he had this, uh, this insecurities and I thought, I thought, you know, I thought, I thought, yeah, if I become a DJ, maybe people will start to, to, to pay attention and to like me because, because obviously I don't seem like I can fit in, first of all, because I was, uh, I was uh, Asian and second of all, because, uh, because it stirred some controversy that I'm Asian and I have the Picasso name and uh, yeah, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you've made a name for yourself, which is great, and your music is also amazing. Let's talk about some of your upcoming projects. What are you working on? So I'm working a lot on um, on um, more crossover records. Mm -hmm. We've uh, released that uh, my latest single was um, with Gashi and uh, and Hallibrook from Fifth Harmony. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I wanna I wanna balance between what. I was doing uh, more like uh, club records, like uh, very energetic uh, uh, EDM tracks, but more like 2.0. And I've been working for two years on uh, on, on, on on records that involves more uh, writings and uh, and also co-producing with other producers. Uh, it, it was something I wanted to do from the beginning, you know. And I hope people will not come here sell out for this, but. The, um, just, just you know, like to have this new approach of of, uh, of producing music with other people and to get to uh, write music because it all the songs you know they come from like memories. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I think it's good. I shared so many good moments with uh, with the people I've met on this journey, mm -hmm. on this new journey, and uh, and I have uh, two um, singers coming uh, i think it's gonna be around like uh, mid-august and september and it's with uh, it's with uh, an artist i really look look up to mm -hmm. um, i cannot i cannot be like name dropping yet but uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, it's they're big artists and uh, i'm very uh, i'm very thankful that they they jumped on uh, on board into the project and uh, very excited to show the world what I've been working on so long. Well, we're excited to hear it. Thank you so Thank much you. for being on the show and come back anytime. We'd love to hear some of your new music when it's out. Perfect. Thank you guys so much for having me. Thank Take you. Take care. Bye. See you soon. Tag TV is available on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, iPhone and Android phones. Watch us live through YouTube and Facebook.